Hello guys, so welcome back to my YouTube channel and for today we are on the bridge and we have uh, trouble on the emergency telegraph. We have this alarm on the emergency telegraph. It is always giving this emergency a stern command even if no one is pressing and we need to find out what is the cause of this trouble because it is a very important piece of equipment on board especially for the navigators so come and join me in this new vlog as you can see right now even we put it on stop this one will always be on the emergency stern and we need to check what is the problem so the first thing that we do in this kind of troubleshooting is we remove the power and see how the unit will respond and to remove the power we need to go down here and I am going to show you the actual so that is the this is the system I'm sorry I need to lay down so we have this canvas for the U1 connections Right, so what we need to remove is this X10 connections. We will unscrew these two and see. We will wait for five minutes and then we will put it back again and check what will happen after that. So I hope we can get it done by just simply removing the power of this uh, emergency telegraph so I'm going to give you familiarization with this telegraph so now we remove the power and see what will happen next so now the system is off and we will wait for five minutes before we switch it back on and I hope it will become okay so just to give you a quick familiarization we have five controls for the telegraph okay this is on the uh, bridge control console then we have on the bridge wing both port side and starboard side then we have on the engine control room and we have on the local control panel at the side of the main engine right, let's go to the starboard side and I'm going to show you the way how it looks like by the way we are in Shanghai China and this is the aft part of the vessel so this is the bridge and this is the forward part So right now we are expected to load around 2,000 containers and those two ships are also from Maersk Line and so this is the magnetic compass repeater and we have this one here the bridge wing control console we also have this telegraph here I just want to show it to you the way how it looks like inside so once you open so this is the telegraph this is the way how it looks like so a little bit different from the um, system inside this is the lever for the telegraph then the indications okay for your rpm have the emergency stops here this is a little bit dirty because it's sometimes exposed to the environment then here we have also the control for your bow thruster okay the indications and your rudder indications we also have some of the controls for the bridge watch monitoring system for the whistle and once you have alarm on the extension alarm panel this is for the whole vessel for the engine side anything about your our alarm and monitoring system then to accept it we have this buzzer stop and flicker 
stop. We also have the microphone for the VDR. This is the microphone. So everything we say right now is being recorded on the VDR. So let's come back inside and connect the cable and see if it will work fine now. So we just put back the power. Let's see what will happen. Now it's on standby after switching on. This is the problem. So after we reset, we s still got the emergency stern command even if it is not being pressed. So I'm going to remove again the wirings. The reset is not successful. We still have this emergency stern and it, it is persistent. It's always there. And what I am going to do right now is I will go to the engine room. I will check this same emergency telegraph, the counterpart of this one. And I will also switch off the power on in there. And then we will again put back the power. After we reset the system, we still have this emergency stern command which is on the engine room side. So what I'm going to do right now, I will accept this alarm. I will go to the bridge. So what I'm going to do right now is that I will ask the crew to stay in there and then I will give a stop command in here. He needs to acknowledge, press the stop also, then we will power off the system together. It looks like that I am thinking that the memory of each other, they have uh, different uh, commands that stays in the memory of the system. So that's what we need to correct. So correcting that one, we need to put the stop command here. They need to acknowledge it in there power of the system so that the last command that we have are both on stop position and then we will power it on and then I hope the, the sequence that we are doing will be okay before opening the hardware side because I don't like troubleshooting the hardware side so I hope it will be successful after that I'll have to press the stop here then acknowledge and then we will remove the power of extend okay I'm so dead So we power cycle the system here on the bridge and on the local control panel and we are hoping that we will clear the memory, the last command and we will have both on stop position after the cycle. So we have five controls of this, one in the bridge control console main and then one in each bridge wings and one in the engine control room and we have in the local control panel which is on the side of the main engine we call this as emergency telegraph because in case of emergency like we lose the control on the main telegraph on the bridge on the bridge wing and even in the engine control room and then we lose also the communication system like the auto telephone then the captain can still give command on the vessel by just simply pressing one of this button like dead slow ahead or astern and then the guy on the counterpart of this one will have the same indication and then it will give an audible sound that audible sound will be off once the guy on the other side of this emergency telegraph will acknowledge the uh, command it means that they have still have communication and they both understand each other the captain and the one on the emergency telegraph on the local side then he will control the local control panel for the main engine so so after doing this sequence which we both gave the panel the same command and we switch it off then as you may have noticed it stays on the stop indication 
which means uh, that our system is back to its normal operation so that's it guys as you can see the command stays at the stop and it doesn't change anymore to the emergency astern another successful troubleshooting and see you on my next video again thank you